Hello there, it's Lenny McGill with the Glock Store Performance and Custom Shop right here in San Diego, California. And today, we're going to look at two custom Glock 43s that are about to be sent off to customers. They just got through our custom shop process. And uh, they're pretty cool. You know, the 43 is really the hot ticket in the Glock world because it is the single stack slimline 9mm. That is a perfect carry gun. Tiny, lightweight, but still 9mm, and um, still shoots like a Glock. You know, the, the, the fact is, a lot of these smaller guns, especially some of the steel smaller guns, are stingy in your hand. When you shoot them, it's ouch, you know. I don't care what a great you know, shooter you are or how much you've been shooting. Some of the small guns, when you shoot them, it's, it's a snake bite. The Glock 43 with the polymer frame is very soft shooting. Now, what that means is it doesn't sting as much as some other guns, okay? It still has a little bit of a zip to it, but it's very comfortable. And in fact, a lot of guys just say it's a shooter. It's a gun you can shoot on a regular basis, uh, not just carry for self-defense. And that's what a lot of the small guns are. They're, they're small carry guns, and they really don't want to shoot them because they kind of hurt. Uh, but this gun, the G43, is a gun you can actually shoot, and we have customize these two, and I want to show you the two, uh, the, well, all the things we've done to them. Uh, in particular, um, both of these guns share what we call our Starburst stipple package. And I'll show it to you over here first. That is uh, gun number one, I'll call it the blue gun. And if you notice that stippling package, how interesting that is. Not only visually attractive, but certainly gives you a much better grip on the gun itself than the standard Glock grip. On the rear or the spine or uh, the, the, of the grip itself, we've done a standard stipple, just a dot pattern. And you can see how that really gives you some texture to hold on to the gun. And then the same in the front uh, with the uh, finger grooves and up along the uh, trigger guard just to kind of you know, complete the, the look. So it's a, it's a dual stippling process, starburst, as well as the stippled uh, dot pattern. And it gives that grip that you're really looking for. Now, the other thing we've done in this particular gun is you'll notice that we have done what we call our Glock knuckle cut, which was, enables us to get a little higher up on the gun, but also scallops that off, and you can see how smooth it is, and it's smooth by design as well as the trigger undercut. So when your finger goes up here, your, your knuckle has a little bit more room to travel and get up higher on the gun and it won't develop that Glock knuckle you get from the standard grip. But then on this other side, we have the trigger undercut. So your offhand rests just like so. So now you have a place for it, kind of gives you a little bit of grip. It also helps you grab hold of the gun better. And that's kind of the proper grip, grip with this uh, G43. Now, we've done a lot to this gun. I've got a little cheat sheet here I'm going to read through to tell you some of the things we've done so I don't miss anything. Uh, first and foremost, you're going to see is this uh, graphite black Cerakote with blue color fill in the slide cuts that we have done in our machine shop. This blue, for your reference, is called NRA blue. It's actually a very attractive blue. I like it a lot. The, the black, graphite black, should I say, Cerakote, is a neat color. It's, it's, it's a dark black, but it has a, a slight um, you know, luster to it. So it's not you know, flat, it, it, but it's not shiny. It's kind of in between there. You know, it's kind of a, a semi-gloss, I guess. Uh, I'll go ahead and drop the magazine, of course. Of course, the gun is empty. Pull the trigger in a safe direction. Now we can actually spin this thing around a little bit more. Uh, you'll notice the barrel has been polished. Uh, that's a good look. This is actually a Glock factory barrel, and we polish these by hand. Takes a little bit of time, but they look really neat, and you'll see through the cuts there how it gets shiny. Let's see if I can bring them out here. There you go. All right. And this is our Ranger slide cuts. These are our Ranger slide cuts, should I say. Uh, this gun, uh, the customer wanted, <coughs> and I like and I use personally, the Trizicon HD Night Sights. 
And they're perfect for a little carry gun like this, okay, because you're really shooting close distances. That's a big, fat, yellow dot out there. Put that on the target, you're going to be successful. All right. You'll also notice in the rear, the, the rear U is a little bit wider shaped. Again, the concept is it's real fast. It's not precise because you're not shooting at 25 yards. You're shooting at 5 yards or less. And this gun is just boom, get it up and do it. All right. Uh, let's see. What else have we got here? Poly spiral. I said that tungsten guide rod with a black tip. Now, you know, the tungsten guide rod is one of our best selling items. Why? Because it works. It reduces recoil and muzzle flip significantly, especially on these small little guns like this. Bottom line is, it's a dead weight under the barrel. It does help dampen the felt recoil and even the way the gun feels in your hand as far as how much recoil there is. You know, so trust me, if you're looking for one thing to do to your Glock, it would be a tungsten guide rod. You will notice the difference no matter which Glock it is, but certainly in the 43. Uh, we've also got uh, the uh, extended controls. Now, they're also in the same NRA blue. Boom, boom, and the extended. So we have the extended slide lock. Okay, that's also known as the takedown lever. Extended slide stop, which is a slide release or holds the slide back. It's holding the slide back right now. And the extended magazine release button. Now, the magazine release button is uh, uh, our design. We've got it in two different designs. This one is the kind of rounded with serrations. And I'll show you the other one real quick here because we're talking about it. This one is our checkered design. A little bit more square and, uh, you know, a, a little different look. Both very effective. Both extended a little bit more than the factory. Uh, and both offered you, uh, you know, just something a little bit more stylish than the factory but also more functional because it's easier to operate. And they're available in many different colors. This is a custom color, so we actually can do any color you want for any of these pieces. Again, uh, this is the NRA Blue, and it matches up with all the other parts that have also been Cerakoted NRA Blue. The whole pin kit you can see here. Boom, 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 boom. Okay, that's all the pieces and parts. That's our uh, extended controls kit. Um, Let's see here. Oh, the pyramid trigger. We do have a pyramid trigger on both of these guns. You'll see right here, it's a blue and black, or say say black with a blue safety. Uh, pyramid trigger, as you know, because it's one of our most uh, popular items and something we sell a ton of, um, is uh, adjusted to give you a shorter stroke. So it's not as long. So when you're pulling the trigger, you're less likely to disturb the sight picture. It also is a little bit lighter than the factory. So that said, it's basically going to be right here. This one's set at about four, four and a half pounds, which is perfect for a self-defense gun. The other nice thing about the pyramid trigger, it's got a little faster and tighter reset right there. So that allows you to shoot faster with better accuracy because you're not stroking the trigger a long way. Plus, it's a little bit lighter. Now, you know, factory is about five and a half, six. Actually, the 43s are usually six to seven. Um, and they'll wear in a little bit, but uh, we can get these down to four, four and a half for your 43. That's a good uh, place to be. Uh, the other thing is that we have a, an extended magazine um, base plate. This is a plus one. And it gives you one extra round. So instead of six, you have seven. It's also been Cerakoted blue. Very nice. Uh, we talked about the, uh, uh, the grip uh, reduction, or excuse me, the grip uh, stippling, but uh, there's one other thing we did do, which I did miss, is the... Um, uh, minor, should I say, minor finger groove deepening, uh, which allows this thing just to be a little bit deeper than the factory and a little bit wider, so a little bit easier to grab hold of, especially if you have big hands. So that is a rundown on gun number one, the G43, which is, you know, I'll call the NRA blue gun, and this is another one here. This is a, a gray look, and this is a gray and black. And this one, now what's interesting about this one, if you look at these two slides, uh, you'll see they've both been Cerakoted. And see how the gray one has a little bit more sheen, it's picking up that light right there, uh, where the top one is a little bit more, like I said, a semi-gloss. Well, this one is actually what we call a SOCOM blue. Now that's very interesting, uh, because it looks black, but if you really look at it closely, you can kind of see it almost has that blue of old years back when we used to blue guns. 
and it has that same kind of feeling where there's almost a little blue there, and, but it's, it's basically black. Um, but it does have more shine to it. So again, a, a little different look. This one we did just some uh, simple slide cuts on it in a machine shop. We did the front serrations and a couple top grooves that look pretty cool. So let me put this over here and you can look at that. This groove here and these here were done in our machine shop. And we did a 45 degree angle on the shoulder of the slide itself, which kind of gives it a neat look. And of course, well, I think I already talked about the front serration, so you can actually grab hold and cock the slide like that. All right, just did that. Let me pull the magazine out. Magazine base plate has been uh, Cerakoted as well as stippled to match. So notice that. And there's the starburst on the side. The front has the standard uh, hole stippling pattern, but notice this real quick. See the starburst? Uh, it just follows right down through. Very nice, huh? The back strap has also been the standard stippling. Front strap or front of the grip. Now you'll notice that we've shaved off the actual finger grooves. This guy didn't want finger grooves. A lot of people don't like the finger grooves. That's one thing that's very interesting. And, and you'll notice on the Gen 5, they took the finger grooves off. Um, some people's hands just don't match up with them and they find it very bothersome. You know, so it's one of those things where, you know, that's an easy fix for us. We, you know, literally can do that. And we can do it nicely and make it look like it grew there. And you can see how we have Cerakoted this puppy to make it, you know, all one color. It just looks like it grew that way. All right, drop in the mag. Of course, this gun is empty. There's no ammunition in the room. And pull the trigger in a safe direction. Now, this one features the uh, True Glow. And these, I believe, are the TFX Pro Sights. Now, let's look at these real quick. Okay, uh, come this way. Boom. Bump, bump. All right. These True Glow sights. Now the TFX features that red circle around the front sight. That's what differentiates the TFX Pro from the TFX. The regular TFX have a white circle around this guy and white around the back too. Now, a lot of people really like the green and red combination. That's why uh, True Glow went this way. You'll notice uh, that um, there's tri tritium inserts in both the, front, the rear sight, one, two, and then in the front sight as well. The True Glows are really unique in the sense that they uh, operate in a, um, a dual fashion. They've got tritium, which will glow at nighttime, which we just talked about, but also you'll notice the fiber optic rods. Now, those rods are encased in the steel of the sight itself, and they're protected, and the TFX Pros, as well as the uh, TFX themselves, are designed to be impervious to solvents and cleaning fluids and such. So that's what makes these guys a little bit better than just the standard TFOs. Uh, only if you're gonna dunk your gun, should I say, does it really make a big difference. But bottom line is, these sights do two things. One, of course, they glow at nighttime, and you can see them during the nighttime. But during the day, they gather and magnify available light with the fiber optic rods. Because of that, they're super bright during the day. I mean, they're brighter than any other sight. Typically, a night sight during the day will be pretty dim. It's just a vial, you know, a tube. So uh, if we look at these sites back here uh, on this um, Trijicon site, during the day, they're going to be just very dim gray dots. And they kind of look like that right now. At nighttime, they will glow, which makes a huge difference. But these sites, looking at these guys, you'll see that they are green and they are actually gathering and magnifying the available light around. In fact, I think I can prove it if I just do this. See how they don't glow anymore? See how they glow? That's pretty cool, huh? Just like that. So I'm actually blocking the light. And now you'll see that they're going to gather the light and, and pop green. Almost like I turn the light on. So, like I said, during the day, they're super bright. And they're better. And people look at them and say, wow, these are great. And they buy them. Because as soon as you see them, you think, oh, this is a great concept. But one of the things that I can never demonstrate at this show, because it's not dark, is that during the nighttime, even at nighttime, even with the, the tritium glowing, if there's any available light, I mean, talking moonlight, I'm talking a street light, uh, a sign light, anything, it will gather and magnify that light and be significantly brighter than any other night sight on the range that day. 
So there's some true advantages to the True Glow sights. And we sell a bunch of them. You know, I mean, we sell a bunch of the Trigicons as well. I love these as much as everything. But I, it's, it's hard to explain how good these sites are, these True Glow sites are. Um, and that's why I want to take the extra time to tell you the, that, that anecdote. But, you know, one of the things, like I said, if you go to the range and there's an, at nighttime and there's any available light, you'll be amazed how bright these are. In fact, you can see them from a distance and people go, wow, what sites do you have? I've had that happen to me several times where we've been you know, shooting at nighttime and people will look down at my sites from afar and say, what, what sites are those? And I tell them and they go, wow. And then I'll say, well, see that, uh, that, that lamp over there or that post over there? You know, they've got usually a, a floodlight somewhere. Um, and they'll say, yeah, I said, it's, it's actually gathering some of that light and magnifying it. So anyways, it's pretty cool stuff. Now this one also uh, includes some extended controls. We already talked about the uh, Extended magazine release button. This is our checkered extended magazine release button. Kind of like a little diamond thing, a little jewelry piece. Okay, it's silver. We also have a silver uh, uh, slide lock, also known as a slide, uh, the takedown lever. Slide lock is the takedown lever. Slide stop, this is the extended slide stop, uh, is um, the slide release. And that actually holds the slide back. Uh, let's see here. And then I, I showed you, but I did not talk about the uh, custom slide cover plate. Never forget. There it is. Okay, so uh, Glock knuckle cut is there as well. See how we just smooth that off, give you a little bit more. Usually that Glock grip goes straight back. This just gives you a little better grip to get up on top of that thing. And I think that is most of it. Of course, we also have our pyramid trigger installed on this guy. This is a black and black pyramid trigger. We talked about that already and how, how that helps you with your accuracy and speed. And uh, that's basically this gun. So these are about ready to be shipped off. I think we're going to just do a little bit of uh, test firing before we send them off, then we'll clean them up. We like to do the videos before we test fire them because we don't want to be dirty and, and all that stuff. So here they are. They're done. If you have a uh, custom gun idea, you're thinking about building one, we're the guy to do it. You know, we can do it. We actually have a great shop. I've got great gunsmiths. I've got a great machine shop. And we, of course, use all the best parts. You know, so it doesn't matter if you want Trigicon, if you want True Glow, uh, if you want um, uh, our trigger or someone else's trigger, if you want, um, you know, uh, this mag release or that mag release. We, you know, it doesn't matter. We build them all. We usually have all the parts in stock, and we are uh, here to help you build the best gun for your particular situation. And, you know, again, your creativity uh, is only limited really by your budget, but the, the fact is we've got a lot of pictures on our websites. I've got a lot of videos, and this is why I do the videos, because guys will watch these and say, you know what? <laughs> I love that blue, and so I want to use that blue here and there and there. They may not do the same exact scheme, but they're, they just they see it and they, they like it. That's why I like to do these videos, because I'll have guys call up and say, yeah, I saw that one. I want it exactly that way, or I saw that one, but I want a Glock 19 versus a Glock 43, and we can do it. So it's all custom. It's all about you and what you want, and we're here to help you out. I'm Lenny McGill. This is the Glock Store Performance and Custom Shop. We're in San Diego. If you're ever down in Southern California, I insist you drop by and uh, see our retail store, of course. But you get to shoot some of these guns if you like, and uh, certainly uh, see the shop. It's a great place. Thanks for watching. See you next time.